to go here for our qualifying race number one for the Action Sprinter presented by Race Rivals. For all the up-to-date information, schedule, and points, you can go to actionsprinttour.com. Here we go off turn four. Kyle McKenzie, green flag in hand, and we are on it. Jacob Zeitz probably has as many laps here as any of the veterans. Spent a lot of time practicing here on the midweek practices. Oh, and Hunsinger goes over the backside at turn number two. And the veteran, the other guy with the most laps here, will have to get restarted off the backside. And a former Merrittville Speedway go-kart champion leading the tour coming into tonight. Alan Downey, an iRacing veteran, having his first year behind the wheel of the real street car. Off the one was an ever-improving Blaine Barrow in the 3B, who has really picked up his game this season in the richest drywall three car. Down the back shoot, Pleger off the outside, and Nanakoke will fill the void on the bottom, but the leader will be Jake Dykstra. Third lead barrel four, Brian Hanico fifth. Here comes the beat still. Bullet triangle is underneath. They're going even turns into turns number three and four. with a good lead out front over the Josh Hansen 88. Allen Downey with a solid run for him in the 19 car as Nana Koch steps it off the backside in turn number two. Halfway through, says Kyle McKenzie, four in for the five of Dykstra. And he backs it up to the top side of turn number two but gathers it in. And they stretch this one out for the first round of qualifying. And the three and four difference. tonight. Fifth in the points. Not a great start for the Gunslinger. White flag out. Has the field ready to surrender here to Jacob Dykstra. And then Jennifer Hatch, Coldwell Banker, 5 feet, and he pops it down through the bumps at the bottom of turn one. Hanson, will he get there? Does he have enough time in the last half lap? And off turn number four, he breaks the Drivers suit in as we get through the program. Here we go. Kyle McKenzie drops the rain one, and away we go. We're on it once again. Mia Martin gets a good jump out front of the Beckett 08. Beckett tries to chop him off, but they can't make it work. Here comes Dryden around the outside. Young will struggle through the middle of two. They take off down the back straightaway. First time around, it's going to be Liam Martin. Jerry Hill to take over position, number five, here at the end of lap one. Young gets underneath Jerry Hill, who will fade back to position number seven up front, though still Liam Martin on the bank here, with Beckett running good in the drill eight, but Dryden looking for a piece of the redraw. He knows how valuable that second finishing position will be, but he slips up a bit off of turn two. Slipped it up a little bit, lost some ground. Liam Martin, Stephen Beckett, but Darren Dryden on the chart. Looking very good for his rookie year here. On the dirt, chasing after Beckett, who's had a stellar season. Oh, big hop for Tyler Ward. Keeps it on all fours and keeps it going. We miraculously stay under green. And Liam Martin puts number five on the board. Three to go, and that was the golfer for Tyler Ward. Working off the turn, it's going to be two to go this time. Back at the last time, the two were weaker. Liam Mark running so good this season out on the tour, brings it around to Kyle White's flag. Comes in tonight, second place in the points with one feature win and four top fives. The 29 of Liam Mark. A young superstar in the making here in the weighing grill. The sprint cars brings it up. Turn number four. Liam Martin out of Ambrose will win the qualifying race number two with Beckett taking him to the redraw. After that will be Dryden, Steele, Hill, Young, and Ward to 
finish out qualifying. Years or less behind the wheel of the race car. Went from nothing right to the crate. Sprint cars in that 28 car. Has picked up a win. See what he can do here in the green. And now we're on but watch that veteran Jesse McDonald work the inside and oh it is bumpy on the bottom they humble their way on through and down the back stretch they go Jordan Hill being chased by his good buddy Jesse McDonald first time around in goal. red is out McKnight backed it into the fence and tipped it on its side here we go and it's Hill on the main top pushes it through the middle. They avoid the extreme bottom that time once again. Heron a little bit slow and that gives the outside lane for Davis, but it's Miller on the bottom who makes it work. Johnny Miller went down one group lower than that. Back on the outside. Battle for the fourth position. He worked out turn two and it's still Jordan Hill showing the way in the club for 28. Jordan Hill with a big lead front of Jesse McDonald, but it doesn't matter because they're both headed for the redraw. If they stay where they are, Heron is the one hoping for a yellow or a miracle to make up the ground between second and third right now. But it's McDonald on the move. He makes a big move off the three to chase down Jordan Hill. McDonald's not even half and he's closing in even quicker. They're in off turn number two. What a run by Jesse McDonald off turn two and off turn number four back. McDonald looked like he was closing in, but now it fades a little bit away. Got a bigger move here in three and four. McDonald a little bit more experience in the crates. Then Hill still running hard here. Two to go. McDonald is there. Can he make a move on the 28? Found the fight. There he goes. Jesse McDonald to the inside of Jordan Hill. Crossed him up. Spider Hill back up. Great race is still going on here. Hill had to tuck it in behind the 88. But now Jesse struggles off too. Here comes Jordan Hill rolling it down the back chute. Gonna put it back on him. And they go wheel to wheel through three and four. But McDonald, the 2017 RC State champion, will take the lead redraw position. But either way, two good friends out there working together every day on the main.